What's up, action figure lovers and toy enthusiasts? It is time for Alternate Heads, the Toy Talking Podcast. How y'all doing out there? And yes, I know it's been a while, and also we've all been locked down, if you can tell by the uh, state of the show here. We're all uh, broadcasting for our prospective nerd caves. And uh, this, it sucks. I'll point out, <laughs> since we've done the, since the quarantine's happened, this is the first time Bryce and I have appeared in live. Well, I, I blame you and Bryce for that. You know, not, it's just that, you know, the rest of the crew doesn't like to hang out with us as much, which is weird. You know? we can't I can see the out. red text message. <laughs> we can't hang out. We'll die. That's so, you know. I refuse to take full responsibility because uh, I don't like to adult on well, the weekend. Okay. okay. I didn't notice the, the lens player on Bryce, but he totally, this looks like the movie version of I, Star Trek right now. I told JJ, you. Like, did J.J. Like Abrams he, direct his camera tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it's one of those things where Bryce either looks like he's got a bright idea or he's about to beam up out of here. <laughs> All right. Anyway, yes, uh, we did get the Toy Brothers back. Uh, I am Jason the X. My buddy's over here. That's Nier. That's Bryce. So Good uh, to be back. Thank you for having me uh, for the seventh time uh, in the last seven months. <laughs> So uh, I got to ask, um, between all of us, how are you guys doing with your quarantine and uh, holding, how you holding up? The days, they blend together now. All right. Like, I have never felt so useless and wanting to go back to the office to work from my office than I have ever. I have watched so much TV. Well, I live in a one-bedroom apartment, man. I'm in a two-bedroom apartment, but uh, Assassins for Hire uh, don't quarantine. We do what we, we, what we want, when we want. So, you know, uh, I'm, I'm yeah, still working. Yeah, but Assassins for Hire still wear masks, so, I mean, you're at least taking some precautions, so you're fine. Yeah, that's always that's good. Right. That's always good. Yeah. Um, I miss just being able to do things like, hey, I'm going to go over to a couple of Walmarts and see if I can find these action figures. I can't do that. My wife's like, mm -mm, you won't Man, get back in this house. <laughs> let me let me tell you something. All right, I have since I started my new job like a, a couple months ago, I haven't had the time to do toy hunting, so I don't really. I order all my stuff online, which I hate doing, but you know, at least I'm getting my figures. But now at this point, being the world's biggest introvert, I just want to go outside <laughs> just for like an hour. I'm I'm willing to go to like seven Walmart, be as disappointed as possible by the time I'm done for but, not finding what's supposed to be out there, come home and still be like, yeah, well, you know, at least I went to, at least I went outside. Is, is this a point where we're going to be telling other toy collectors in years, like when they're like, Oh, I didn't find anything. I hunted all day. You know, we had a time in my day when we couldn't even go hunting. So you better be <laughs> thankful for what you have. <laughs> Man. I look forward to when I have to go grocery shopping, which actually kind of helped with new acquisitions this week. <laughs> And that's been the limit of mine. I, I've only, like, if I go to my local Target for groceries, I'll just sneak over to the action figure out, like a like a kid hiding that he smokes from his parents, you know? <laughs> I just tell my wife, I'm going to the bathroom for a bit. I'll, uh, I'll be back. <laughs> and I just... I, I had Taco Bell for lunch. They delivered, okay? But it took a while. <laughs> and there's only one that we're going to, so it's like... But it sucks. Hopefully, uh, things will be getting better here soon. So, anyway... Let's go ahead I also do grocery shopping, by the way, and I uh, I have decided to start um, uh, cooking more outside. Well, like grilling? Yes. My apartment doesn't allow me to do that. So I can get outside. All I have, all I have is a George Foreman. I mean, I got a yard. I got, I, I got to the yard. I mean, I get my fresh air and sunshine, but hey, let's, who cares? Let's just face it. <laughs> the most limited right now. <laughs> Please send help. Anyway, but, you know, Amazon and other services still do deliver, so uh, let's get some new acquisitions. Bryce, we've missed you. Give me some new acquisitions, brother. Yeah, I missed you guys, too. The uh, cardboard but... cutout of you just doesn't respond as well, okay? We tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, I'm glad to breathe some life into the show instead of that two-dimensional guy that you had. Well, for, for new acquisitions, I can thank... Uh, Migo Seamstress Extraordinaire, Rachel Baker, uh, who works for the Migo Corporation. And Rachel sent me this Super Friends Green Lantern. 
So I've got this new acquisition, thanks to Rachel. It's a good looking suit. That is, that is the uh, that is that is the cartoon '70s slash '80s Green Lantern uh, from Figures Toy Company, and that came straight from Rachel. So thank you, Rachel. Um, and as far as uh, other acquisitions go, they would all be vintage, and they would all be from the 1970s. Remember that we era? Cancel, we canceled the show that Dave Wright says, my newest acquisition is a Marvel Legends. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> right? I'm shocked and amazed. <laughs> right? Okay. So I can thank, I can thank Castle Vintage Jones. Oh. He's a vintage hookup guy. Uh, Chuck, Chuck always helps me out. And this is a prized possession right here. Mint in box. Is that the Bionic um, Woman? That is Jamie Summers, the Bionic Woman, with her new mission purse. This is the second edition release. <laughs> yeah. So I I couldn't re I didn't realize that was the Bionic Woman. So all I saw was new mission purse, and I'm like, did he get an OG Barbie? Is what's going on? They, they, gave so her a, they gave her a mission purse. They did. Oh, you, they did. you misogynistic bastards. <laughs> oh, no. They, you know they did it specifically to try to hit with the Barbie crowd. Well, they did. Got a, got they did a come person. to the comb, a brush, a mirror, pretend to cosmetics, um, a billfold with a picture of Oscar Goldman, uh, also pretend credit cards and bionic bucks. Oh, my God. Why didn't they just give her an action stove or something? You know? <laughs> oh well, my God, this is horrible. Okay, this is a 1970 toy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Well, you'll you'll be interested to know that I didn't pick up from Castle Vintage Jones the Bionic Woman Salon. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll be right there to help you, Steve. As soon as my <laughs> hair is done. <laughs> yeah. This I um, just applied a new coat of paint. Give me like twenty. <laughs> So thank you, uh, Kenner Toys, uh, from 42 years ago. Wow, <laughs> that's, that's actually that box is in pretty good condition for that old. Yeah, it is. I'm actually yeah, is. kind of shocked. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm not done with vintage goodness. Take a look at. I love this Kenner packaging, man. Oh my god, Maskatron, baby. Wow, Ma Maskatron. Yeah, dude. Where was this stored? I can uh, see myself in the reflection. It's awesome. Can you see it? I can see myself in the reflection of the box, but where was this stored? That's great condition for these boxes. Yeah, so, well, uh, Chuck won't tell me that. Chuck won't tell me. Well, but um, <laughs> Because then you know the identity of his stash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, the great thing about this Maskatron is that not only does it have a price tag of $9.99, Oh, those were the days. But uh, he's got he's got three identities, uh, and there and I I love I love this thing. There's I love everything about this. You can destroy Maskatron with blows to his body, and you can allow him to change his identity with the different masks. And he even has a super suction arm and a vice grip arm. Good stuff. I gotta say that, that's that's a, quite the find, man. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. All right. And one more to tell you about. By the way, these are for ages five and up, and I think I qualify. Nah. Are we sure? Uh, maybe. Uh, so getting back to Lindsay Wagner's show, check out the mystery lady. The mystery lady is Fembot. Can you see Fembot? What? Oh, oh. I don't want to. <laughs> Fembot is is uh, the stuff of nightmares. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Jason, Jason, did you just <laughs> you just got a defect? Uh, that's all. Stuff of nightmares, but she's great. Uh, she'll help you infiltrate OSI headquarters, learn its secrets, and battle Jamie Summers. Oh, uh, I. So disturbed. <laughs> Good stuff. Great stuff. I love this. I love the packaging. Kenner did a great job with this line. And that's the end of my uh, new acquisitions. That's it. Cool. Uh, Nate, some of ours are going to crisscross, so you mind if I hit, go? 
I mean, yeah, sure, I'll go skip, for it. I'll skip the ones that are going to crisscross. Um, yeah, go for that. Right before uh, the lockdowns happened, I was able to get some uh, some new Transformers uh, Earthrise from Best Buy, surprisingly. Supposedly Do you have the, the ostrich? No, I don't have the ostrich yet. He hasn't been released. But um, I was able to get Hoist, um, Cliff Jumper, and Wheel Jack. These are great, actually. Hey, man, Cloud Jumper. I Where love the... Stop, shut up. I love the construction on these guys and their pegs. There are no screws in these. They're all pegs. Uh, they're all ratchet pegs. joints, baby. Um, there's one problem. This one, his leg don't move, and this isn't one of those times where you can go. I know his leg. Like, okay, this leg, I had to like free up with a pair of pliers wrapped in a cloth. But this one just will not go. It's and I can't go out and look for another one. I just got it. Do, it transforms, no problem. But I mean, I, I, he just can't move his leg. I'm. I, it sucks for Wheeljack. That does. Um, on the customizing front, I did buy some metal claws from Can of Beams to replace the uh, Wolverine claws on some of my Marvel Legends figures. These are stainless steel. They're uh, metal. Be careful putting them in. I will leave it at that. Be careful. He's in his hands. But I think they look a lot cooler. Um, just the design. Oh, no, no, they significantly do. Oh, yeah, they look so like, much better. I considered them as well, but I'm they stay glad. in there too. Um, let's see. Um, I also got some stands from him, but those haven't come in yet. Um, do you use Wolverine's claws in the kitchen? Uh, look, man, these, these will hurt you. These will hurt you. I'm, just, I'm, not, I'm not even playing. Um, since we're going to have some crossover in here, I'll skip that one. But uh, you didn't get the. Um, I got the uh, the Stanley. I added oh, the Mil- I added the Milner just because I I had an extra one, and thought that would look cool. I'm actually he, basing a shelf around this figure, so he is worthy, man. It's one of those um, figures that I ordered from Target, but Target was in my bank account, so I canceled my order from Target. Yeah, I don't know. Which is fine because like Target is even though they got first dibs at pre-orders, they're the last people to get them. Yeah. Hasbro Pulse has started sending them out. Entertainment Earth started sending them out. Big Bad Toy Store started sending them out. I got my order through Hasbro Pulse, and mine will apparently be here in May for my birthday. But man, you know, we'll see. Uh, mine's coming in. Uh, came from GameStop, which I'm going to get into them in a little bit. Oh boy! Uh, back to uh, Marvel Legends, though. I did get the uh, Origins Black Widow figure that has the parts of the uh, gun blast and smoke coming out of the barrel. I like that uh, Marvel Legends is getting into this. Um, and we have a figure that we're going to show off later that really gets into it. But this, this is a good looking Natasha. Uh, got three guns, all three, and these are all different molds on these guns. It's no repeating, but a good fig. Nice. And um, let's see. Uh, I'm just going through the shelf. So this is a Generation 1 Warpath. Look at that, an original Transformer. But Fans Toys came out with their version, FT41 Sheridan. And I got to tell you, when y'all get back to see you for the size of this figure, the die cast in it is substantial. Like this thing has some heft to it. A lot. It looks like it does. And, uh, Oh, it's, it's solidly built. Uh, it was a pre-order that came through, uh, kudos to uh toy dojo out there too. They have closed down their physical store and they're only doing online orders, but they're getting things out. So, uh, kudos to them. This uh, just hit this uh, Wednesday and, or no, it hit Thursday and it got to me today. So kudos mm-hmm. to them. Uh, I think that's all I have for new acquisitions that are not shared. So uh, you want to get into shared? Um, I do want to get. Can I get into? Can, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into shared. So right now, this is a contender. Let's just go to the top of the, the top dog. All right. Do you want to show off the figure and I show off the box? The top snake here. This is the G.I. Joe classified snake eyes. I um, got my... You paid over. Don't, don't, just shut up. <laughs> shut up. I got it. That's all you need to know. This figure is absolutely fantastic. Posability, paint, sculpt. If this is what we expect from the G.I. Joe line, I feel like this one the way I felt about Lightning Collection when it came out. This this is a fantastic figure. If you missed out on it, ooh, 
I'm not missing out on any more G.I. Joe Classified just because of how good this figure is. So to go into a small story with that one, because I have to laugh. Uh, when this bad boy went on to pre-order day one, I was up at 6 a.m. like normal. Cause that's when I wake up. Now, you don't get to roll your eyes at me. I hope the mic picks up the sound of my eyes rolling. I can hear the picture. What's weird? The 6 a.m. rolls around, and I go on to, uh, I can't remember if it was Instagram or what, but I see that Snake Eyes, the collector's edition, goes up on sale for pre-order, and I go, well, I'm going to have to own the Joe that Snake Eyes is my favorite G.I. Joe, and I know Snake Eyes is Jason's favorite. So I pre-ordered mine immediately, and I text Jason first thing, and I say, hey, man, G.I. Joe, Snake Eyes, up for pre-order right now. And he responds with, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait for the standard release. Then I hear next day, you know what? I decided to go ahead and pre-order it. 24 hours later, let's flash forward like two weeks. Jason looks at me when we're over at his house, and Jason goes, it's so weird. My G.I. Joe is not coming in until July. What's going on? And he shows me, and it shows an estimated arrival date, July 1st. And I look at mine, and mine says April 1st. And I'm like, ooh, that one day hurt. And I, <laughs> Jason Only the span of a goes, couple of hours, really. No, 24 hours, and you know how this game works. Did you cancel your Stan Lee, by the way? No. Okay. What prop? What happens through Hasbro, real quick, just to get into that, I've told you, is once ever you, when you pre-order something, it creates an order and then cancels it and then creates a second order immediately afterwards uh, with a number or a letter at the end of it showing it's a pre-order. So it'll show, like, canceled and then the uh, next you, order behind you, it see. is the right one. Because um, I, I worried about that, too, because I thought it canceled your snake eyes at first, and that's when I asked Hasbro for customer service. But, yeah. But anyway, you're right, this, this Snake Eyes, I got it in, and I fell in love with it. Like, at first, I was already 100% behind the new G.I. Joe figures. I was down for Duke, Scarlet, Roadblock, Destro, all of them. But at, just like everybody else, I was on the fence because of the way that they looked. But if they're all going to be like the Snake Eyes is, I'm 100% in. I, good God, I love the Snake Eyes. And uh, besides the figure being great, this packaging it came in, I can't, oh, yeah. I'm not throwing mine away. First I'm not either. All, it's, um, you got the sleeve on it, which, pretty basic, nothing there. But then you get this embossed and um, upraised artwork. Like, the, you're, you're looking at it, that's all raised characters on the cardboard. Look at the shine on that. And then the, um, the metallic paint on there. This is... This is some packaging. Like, my wife was looking at mine because it also comes with a really nice piece of artwork. I'm getting to it. Hold on. And uh, the first thing she says, are you going to get that framed? Oh, mine said that too. So, as you can kind of see behind me, I don't know how much you can actually pick up. My wife and I have two very, two very different styles when it comes to decorating. Mm -hmm. So, I was going to get this framed, but my wife loved it so much that she wants to get it framed on her side of the room. Look at that. I mean, and this is this is pretty thick paper here, and it looks so good that I'm yeah I'm gonna get it framed, and then to continue on because I haven't taken out any of the accessories on the inside, but that was the inside of it. I took all mine out. It's actually in the review station. I just need to get it done. But I don't have a place to put it, and I don't want to lose them, so I have it here, and I kept the box because even the GI Joe box looks so good inside of it. But yeah, this this box was was a winner. I gotta say, for a pre order, I mean. And for the first run of this figure, that's uh, that's pretty nice. So anyway, uh, what else do you have this week, or do, are we getting right into? Here, something? go go into go into your other shared one okay, while I put so this the back other together. One I, I was able to find uh, right um, on one of my trips was the uh, the Black Widow in the white suit from the movie. Yep. And this fig is okay. It's uh, the thing. The figure's great. It's got the effect oh, yeah. parts. It's uh, got the little blast for her widow blast. You got these explosions down here, but this the stand, figure itself is exactly the Black Widow that we got in the same wave, um, just painted white. Yeah, like I've, I've I've looked at it side by side, but and it's still a good figure. But this stand, 
they need to make these um, available for purchase by themselves. If you're a collector and you're doing any type of displays, you want this stand because first off, the yeah, springs, I, I would pay ten dollars a stand. Clips are spring loaded, and Bryce, you 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 appreciate this. The clips are spring loaded. This armature goes um, goes up, down, rotates here. You got another rotation point right here. You got a rotation point here. The stand actually um, goes up and down. I'm trying to get it to. Okay, and that's so impressive. Please, this is a this is a good quality stand. I think I dropped a piece. I'm trying to figure out. What is the effects is. piece uh, glued onto the? Nope. Stand they itself? are a hundred percent removable. They can be removed at any point. They have these little tiny pegs. And there are pegs all over, so you can pick and choose where you want them. So this is so much not on the figure, but if they're going to get into effect parts and stands like this, this is a, this is a new level for Hasbro, and that's it's really good. That's good. What what is the uh, price tag on that particular item with the stand? Thirty dollars. So basically, you pay twenty dollars for a figure like normal, and then it came with God what. Four explosion pieces, uh, two different gauntlet pegs, guns, and the yeah. stand for an extra ten. Yeah, like pretty much. I had I had mine pre-ordered on Dorkside Toys, which was a huge mistake. I don't know why Dorkside loves everyone but me, but Jason found both widows and picked one up for me, so I got to cancel all my orders with Dorkside. So I'm done with Dorkside. So with them making more army builder figures like Hydra soldiers available, I really hope they make just the stands. 10 bucks, 10 bucks is a slight, that, that easily done. This is easily worth 10 bucks. Um, hell, give me a pack of 10. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't have any place to put them because my apartment's so small, but once I get, like, into a bigger apartment or if I end up buying a house, you you bet I'm going to put them everywhere. Like, I was all about these uh, just cheap stands I got off Amazon. This is a high-quality, <laughs> solid stand that'll fit several different figures. Um, I mean, several different yeah. sizes of figure. It works with Iron Man and all of them. I mean, but even like different, like uh, Bryce, your seven inch Mego scale. This would work, man. The claws okay. open up wide enough easily for okay. uh, seven inch and above figures. Um, cool. Yeah, and also you can take this the the longer part of the armature. You can actually remove this and just have this part on the stand. So, right here on the uh, this part. So, <coughs> it, well, that's very adjustable. That's great. I gotta say, Hasbro for their first foray into a like a stand, they knocked it out of the park. So nailed it. Yeah. Definitely. So what about a build a figure? Have you put a build a figure on there to see if it'll hold the weight? You know, I haven't I mean, yet. I think the waist. I... Give me a moment. <laughs> put the Red Hulk on there. Red Hulk. I, I I don't have Red Hulk near me. Okay. I only have the newest build a figure from what I was about to talk about. So we'll get... All right, Red Hawk might be too big for it just because of he is a beefy boy. So hang on. The build the figures are going to be too big. I, I guess it really depends on the build a figure because like okay. Hobgoblin is uh, or well, Demo Goblin would work size. amazing. Yeah, Demo Goblin would work just fine, but I don't know about. I'll worry about the stand later. So here, I just removed the clip just to see, and that's about as far as the clip goes out. Um, no, sir. I, I'm gonna say, no, sir. I'm going to say no. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna, to quote the uh, the YouTube clip that I found him and laughed about. He's thick. Boy, thick. <laughs> <laughs> that's a well, thick that answers that question. Huh? That now, answers that question. But otherwise, normal size figures that are not, you know, Hulk size will fit just fine on there. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But still, um, compliment, all, all credit to Hasbro. Great stand. Please give me more of these. I hope that the um, the outpouring of appreciation is enough. They go, maybe we'll sell these stands. So, anyway. All right. I think that's it for new acquisitions. I don't... Um, I got a studio series. Uh, well, one I forgot about this guy and the the new studio series, uh, Roadbuster, which is the only one I wanted from that line. He's a uh, 
armored up NASCAR with guns. There you go. Anyway. <laughs> so, uh, I think we've got all of our acquisitions. Anybody want to move into a little bit of news that's going on? What, what are you doing, man? What? You just going to abandon me over here? What? You got more acquisitions? I got a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> oh, I thought you were making a joke. I didn't know you were serious. No, I, I, sorry. Go ahead. What are your acquisitions? What, man, what I, you for, he does it to Bryce a couple weeks ago. Now he does it to well, me. Well, at least somebody <laughs> stopped me this time before I went too far. What have you got? <laughs> no um, one cares about your acquisitions. Apparently not. Okay. Uh, this one's not necessarily new, but I never talked about it. So I got the Disney Infinity Venom, which is just a nice looking oh, Venom. That that <laughs> figure line is is really good. And I don't yeah, like I'm, any... I'm a big fan of the Disney Infinity stuff. Like I'm only picking and choosing because I don't want to have like a bunch of Hasbro, well not Hasbro, but like a different Marvel stuff. But I played as Venom in Disney Infinity whenever we had it. It was a fun little game that me and my wife could play together. So I enjoyed playing as Venom. Uh, Sticking with non-Hasro, I picked up the Amazon exclusive Jazzwares Ragnarok figure. Uh, dude comes with a lot of accessories, three different heads, uh, a bunch of different armor pieces. Like, it's ridiculous. This, this one's a lot better than the, the other ones that they made before, like Omega and stuff like that. Omega was really tough, and God, it just looks awful with all the armor, but... Here you can remove them, and like he's got tattoos on the body once you're done with it. So Jazz wears Ragnarok figure looks really good. I, who would have thought we'd be collecting Fortnite figures because he I, plays Fortnite? I actually hate you a little bit because I also picked up a Fortnite figure. <laughs> yeah, you I got picked beef up boss. Beef boss. <laughs> he is a pistol packing burger <laughs> <laughs> with a big tongue. I don't, I don't know. I love this. I want him to battle Batman. I want him to battle my Mezco Batman. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I ever talked about it, but I, I did pick up that Sentinel because it was the it was an actual robot chicken. Yeah, you brought that, that one for the show, and that was it was amazing. Um, I also managed to get through Hasbro Pulse finally after some confusion. I picked up some new Star Wars Black series, so we got Zori Bliss and a Knight of Ren. They're okay. I mean. I actually I wasn't found like, Zori at uh, Best Buy as well. Yeah, I That's found. Uh, they also had a trooper. I do have the trooper. I just didn't want to go digging for it because um, it, it was basically just a jump trooper that we've already gotten before, but in red. So I mean, it was nothing really new there. Uh, this is not a new figure, but it's new to me. Hearthstone had a new expansion uh, introducing a new class called Demon Hunter. Broken as hell. So broken that they ended up nerfing the entire class less than 24 hours after its release. But I love the class so much that I ended up picking NECA's Heroes of the Storm Illidan figure because who doesn't love uh, some big demon hunters? So I'm very happy to have Illidan here to my collection. I was not prepared for that class. That class got me up to gold rank real quick. Ooh, girl. And then on your topic of magically being in quarantine and not being able to go toy hunting, don't go toy hunting, stay home, toys will come, online ordering the thing. I did manage to go grocery shopping. And when I went grocery shopping, I managed to come across the entire new Avengers game wave. And I have mixed feelings. Uh, I may have saw on Instagram that they were hitting on Walmart because I usually go shopping at Target for food. So I decided to put on a face mask, go into Walmart, do some shopping. Surprisingly, found toilet paper there, too. That was really cool. That's uh, a real hunt these days. <laughs> I, yeah, it is. I had to use all my toy hunting skills for toilet paper. Who would have guessed? So I managed to come across the brand new Avengers Wave because I was like, my Walmart's never have anything. And they actually had it. So going one by one, we have Captain Marvel here. Uh, good, good figure. I like it. He's he's nice. He's you know I, not I that brick. One. He looks good. That's uh, awesome. We got the leader. One I'm looking forward to. This head is top heavy, but like the figure still stands. It's just as he he's a good in, figure as he would be in real life. Yes, yeah, he should be. That's good. We have Mach 1. 
adding to that Thunderbolts line, we have a. Uh, uh, what's her name? Screaming Mimi and Citizen V now. So like, I like my Mach one, but I have a peg problem where the peg won't stay into the arm. And because of that, I have a really loose joint here. So I'll have to replace them at some point, but I wasn't as big of a fan to get this one in, but maybe it's cause I have no attachment to the character either. Um, one that I've really grown attached to having no attachment to the character is rage. Oh yeah. I'm all about classic rage. Uh, 15-year-old kid a, who got powers. I believe he's on the comic book Luke Cage body, too, by the way. I, all of those but I'm excited for. This is a great figure. Uh, and then we move into some of the other ones. We have Miss Marvel from the Avengers game, which, by the way, is exactly the original Miss Marvel we've gotten before. They changed Just the shoes to, and less paint. And I don't like oh, the yeah. paint they used on the new one. So I actually do like the paint they used on the new one. Um, I, I, it's grown on me. You're right. There is less paint everywhere. There is a, on their Instagram, they show the costume that Miss Marvel is wearing. And while it's relatively close, they didn't do a lot of sculpting because in the new Miss Marvel game, with the game, she's supposed to have decals and stuff going up and down here. Uh -huh. They didn't do that. They cheaped out. Uh -huh. so we, got, we got new shoes. So if you have this one, you already have this one. But, you know, it's okay. Um, we have the new Iron Man, which I okay. really like. It's an Iron Man. It, well, that's the thing, though. Like, they use the same particular type of uh, paint applications and sculpting detail that they use with our MCU Iron Man. So if you have, like, an MCU Iron Man shelf, this will fit. Like, I've compared them. It will fit. And it's... One of the cool things is, is like the, uh, the arc reactor is sculpted. And they've actually so, got like some digital print on the eyes and inside the arc reactor. So that's correct. It's got a slight bump on the nose area. Cause it's not supposed to be just a flat face plate, but you know what? I'm okay with that. I'm cool. And then the most controversial figure that Jason just loves to hate, but I actually really grew towards, I, I said it before when they announced it, that I was going to like it and I do. It's the Captain America figure. Why does he have a gun? I gave him a gun. I had a spare gun lying around because of the fact that he's in such a tactical outfit. It's just something new and something different. That is that a giving cheap knockoff of Captain I, America. This could be anyone. And I watched Fush's review of this figure, and he has the same opinions I have about this figure. I actually really like this one. It's not my favorite Captain America by any means. It's like this guy's about to come out and say, I'm, I'm Captain North America. <laughs> yeah, so it, but I like it. Captain I North America. Do. It's got it's, it's all new sculpt. It's got giant bits of detail sculpted yeah. in the front, the back, the everything. Jason, just because Captain America is your favorite hero, he's also one of my favorite heroes. So I love this Captain America. Uh, it's probably going to go on a shelf somewhere. We'll see how the it'll look with the other video game figures when they eventually sculpt those. So we'll see. I have a shield as well. That that Captain America. Uh, when you said I had a spare gun, I th yeah. Uh, just call it a spare cap. He is spare. That is the definition of spare. This this is right what there. a cap shield looks like. Okay. This, so? right here. Not whatever discount Captain North America you have over there. J Jason, shut up. Your opinion doesn't matter. So, <laughs> and of course, the build a figure is the I video will... game Abomination. Which... That's a good he's... abomination. He is a big bulky boy. I like the spikes. That the, That's a good sculpt. He's got butterfly joints. Ooh, nice. Oh, he gets, <laughs> he gets that much range. <laughs> he can scratch his back, unlike other bodybuilders. <laughs> he can legitimately scratch his own ass. So, so I don't understand. How did, how did Marvel and Hasbro get the rights to doing a doomsday figure? I don't understand. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will say, this face is uh, one only a mother can love. So. No, <laughs> Mama don't like that. 
But yeah, no, it's so like it's the a, way it's it's a good itself, looking build to figure it out. It's one of those things where the wave itself, it's not bad. I'm happy because I finally got that new itch after we had waited for Black Widow for two months. Uh, but so I'm happy to get that. Now I'm waiting for our new X Men wave. But it's just one of those things where I do like the video game figures. I do like the comic book figures. You know, I just don't like all the comic book figures like Mach 1. And of course, Miss Marvel was a disappointment. Captain America surprisingly decided to enter in the top 10 figures of the year. So here we are. I do. Uh, I'm glad that we're going to get more of the Thunderbolts just so we can uh, complete uh, a Thunderbolt show. So anyway, what else you got? That's it. I'm done. That's it? Okay. Um, I mean, I'm not going to... around hunting, and I can't get spawn anywhere. I mean, when I can get out of here, the first thing I'm doing is going to DVT, because they got a... I want that Jushin Thunder Liger. Uh, I know you got that Storm Collectible Sub-Zero. But I Jushin do. Thunder Liger he's was one of my Looking favorite. at it right now. Well, he's one of my favorite wrestlers, and after seeing your Sub-Zero, I realized I need that figure just for the quality that Storm Collectibles brings. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I, I, Storm Collectibles really grew on me. So, uh, getting into uh, before we went under quarantine, um, how's your Mortal Kombat spawn figure? <laughs> Walmart. <laughs> so, let me explain to you. I had, before we went under quarantine, we found the UPC for McFarlane spawn figure. Mm-hmm. We found it. We went to every single Walmart that said that it had it in stock. And that meant me driving 40 minutes away and no one had them because apparently Walmart decided to mix its UPC figure, uh, UPCs in with Borderlands. <laughs> makes no sense. Or at least that's what the Walmart associates tried to convince me mm-hmm. when I yelled at one. But I cannot find it. Then I, decided, I found out GameStop had it. But GameStop's website is garbage because if you go on there... It says not available, and I can't even order Stan or McFarlane Spawn, even if I wanted to pay the extra $7 for it. I can't even go to Dallas Vintage Toys to go pick him up if he's over there because everything's closed. So, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of uh, GameStop, though, and yeah, uh, eventually I'm pretty sure we'll find this figure. I I don't know. He's dropped off of my list, but... um. I want it. It's the only one I want. I could could dog GameStop or I could have some happy news. Which one do y'all want? How about we, before you dog into your dog, we'll complain about Walgreens for a second. Go right ahead. So I ordered the Stafford Cuckoo's Marvel Legends Walgreens figure. I actually did go pick that, uh, try to pick that one up because it went on its online site. I missed it the first time around and they got those shipped out and then they came back around and I ordered mine. Three weeks ago... And I have gotten an email every single week that says we've had a larger than expected order. So we were still working on your order. So they took my money, but they aren't giving me the figure. So they're either going to keep it until they can figure out how to ship it to me, or they're just not canceling my order. I would rather them cancel my order because the set for Cuckoo's wasn't exactly one that I was like, oh, God, I need to get this one. I kind of lost interest in it the same way I lost interest in the Danny Moonstar Walgreens figures once we couldn't find them either. So, I mean, but just cancel, either cancel my order or don't. Like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know. So, um, the, the GameStop thing is something else that will be open for discussion. But I did want to bring a little bit of good news. Back during Toy Fair, we said that Todd McFarlane, well, he was out and out, so he was going to be doing a Kickstarter to, like, redo the first Spawn figure he ever made. Um that Kickstarter launched this week. Uh, its humble price was one hundred thousand dollars, which they shattered in nineteen minutes. No, no, no. They exceeded in twelve minutes. Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. So twelve minutes gone. Currently, with hang on, with let's see how many days are left. Oh boy. 26 days left. This is going to be at the wire, folks. It is, God, the numbers are ticking up as I watch. It is at $1,184,000. The thing about McFarlane. 9,143 backers. I'm sorry, 44. I'm sorry, 
9,145, six. It literally is going up like that. I'm on the fence. So I really want the new McFarlane figure. Like, I, I really do want the one based off Mortal Kombat, but I'm not as big of a Spawn fan. I just want that one, and I'd be happy. But, like, I get what he's doing. I think this is fantastic. I know we've gotten a lot of complaints about people wondering why a big toy company is going into kickstarting route. Well, it's because, you know, Todd's in the business of making money. He's not about to go and make something on his own and put it out somewhere if no one wants it. Because all the retailers said that they did not want to put a classic Spawn figure on the shelf. So instead of tooling it himself, putting it out on the shelf, he decided to go ahead and do this Kickstarter to see if people wanted it. Because if it didn't hit its goal, he wasn't going to make it. So, but then here we are. So one thing that McFarlane has done, um, after it exceeded, I think, 800000 at first, if you wanted just a figure... With uh, and he he also sh he actually showed off the packaging. Looks good. It's a resealable clamshell. It's going to come with some original artwork, and it was fifty bucks per figure. Since they passed over so much, he said, "Okay, fine. They're only forty bucks a figure now." And honestly, with we were just talking about the packaging for that Snake Eyes. With all of that, you're definitely getting forty bucks worth. So, yeah, if you if you're on the fence about this figure, if you just want it, I recommend going and getting getting the forty bucks. You can get the classic or the modern spawn. At the top level, which I've backed at, you're going to get all three figures, five different heads. And now today he announced, since uh, as soon as they went over 1.2 million, all of the plastic chains on the Spawn figure will be replaced with metal chains. And all wow. of these are just things that he's just doing. You don't have to add yeah. in anymore. I, I got to hand it to him. He's showing a lot of gratitude for this Kickstarter, which I don't know what this is going to top out at. Seriously. I don't either. He keeps coming in and making little changes. Like at first, you if you, the highest tier that you could get, you could pick three. You would get the grayscale figure, uh, the original one, and there was one more, but they had it's each had a different head. Yeah, they each had a different head, but there was some confusion. People thought that you would get all five of the heads if you ordered if you got the three, but he had only made it so you were supposed to only get three. You got to pick which three heads you wanted. But then he was like, you know what? We're about to hit a million dollars. You can get all five. I don't care. I was questioning the articulation, but then they had a, a break apart uh, design about yeah, the articulation. It, wow. But here's the thing. That's what's off-putting to me is, yes, there's more articulation than I thought there was going to be when you said that there was going to be double. But if you look at it, there's no torso bend. There's no bicep swivel. The, uh, the hands don't move the same way. It's, I've gotten used to better articulation that I'm not paying double the price for some, a figure that I have no real emotional attachment to with limited articulation. I mean, maybe used to do no articulation, and then it finally took him a while to say, yes, you know, apparently people want articulation. So they gave it to us. So maybe he'll go back in. Maybe in the next 20 days he's going to say, yes, it's going to be the same articulation scheme that you would get with the regular uh, McFarland figures. And if that's the case, I'll back it. But otherwise, right now, I just really don't want to. Well, you have plenty of time to decide. And honestly, I know, I'm right? just wondering what the rewards are going to be now. Because the rewards so far are pretty good. Yeah. Bryce, do you have any news this week? Or are you just here for the discussion part of this? Oh, man. Uh, I'm excited to see what McFarlane Toys produces. But yes, I do have a lot of news to catch up on. So kick back and relax, kids. This is going to be fun. What you got? Oh, I got a lot of stuff. Okay, so NECA has shown in package uh, pics of the Space Marine Drake, which is a throwback to their 90s series that um, that was released. We talked Oof. about this one on the show. Well, he had the smart gun. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah we talked yeah. about it. Yeah, so they, they've, they've got the in, in pick... Uh, the uh, pro the product specs look or the product pictures I should say they look good they look good he's got some heavy artillery uh, moving on to the one I'm really excited about from NECA is the alien rhino uh, this thing I love the way this looks and this thing when you stand it up straight it's going to be ten inches tall did you order oh it yeah the link that I showed you uh, I haven't ordered it yet but that is my goal to do that this week. Cause that's a, I, 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 I want you to get this so I can see it. So there. I know you. Don't. I know. I'm here. I don't. I don't collect any of the alien figures. But even I think that translucent plastic looks sexy. Yeah, I think it's going to be really. 
um, uh, it's, it, it, I think it's really going to shine on the shelf. I think it's going to be great. I, I think people are really going to like it. I'm, I'm looking for good jointing on this figure. I'm sorry. Some good joints on this figure. I'm hoping so. A lot of universal joints on it. That's what I'm hoping for. Yeah. I'm, I'm excited for that. And it's, you know, it's going to shine because you don't see that combination of orange and black a lot on the, on the toy shelf. It's different. Yeah. All right. Moving on to FTC. They've got some uh, great announcements they've made uh, since I've last been on Alternate Heads. Uh, there's a lot of good news. Uh, they've made announcements not only for uh, Teen Titans Aqua Girl, and her name is Tula. So she'll look great with the rest of the Titans in your Teen Titans collection as well as Aqualad. Uh, they, they're, they're, the, the announcements they've made they're, that I'm going to tell you about, there are no prototype heads or bodies to show you or costumes, but uh, they are providing the actual art from the figures that they that are, are inspiring the look of the figure. So aside from Tula, uh, they've also announced someone to battle of the seven seas, Aquaman's foe, Mo Ocean Master. I almost said Motion Master, but you know, he, you know the motion of the ocean is calling his name. So. <laughs> I have to look yeah. at this on my phone so I don't like disrupt the stream but go ahead I, I, that's what i'm looking at over here go ahead yeah yeah so, it's kind of going back and forth yeah so ocean master is going to be uh pretty sweet i believe that that's a great design and it's always fun uh to get more foes because we do seem to get a lot more heroes than foes uh from ftc but i'm i'm really looking forward to ocean master aside from ocean master uh we can also point to a fantastic uh, foe that was not only featured in the Justice League cartoons, but also in the 80s comic books. This uh, uh, monster of a, of a heavy, of a villain named Mongol, uh, he premiered in 1980 in, uh, in DC Comics Presents with Superman and Supergirl and the Martian Manhunter. So this figure is 40 years in the making. Mongol is uh, basically the, the ruler of War World. And, you know, he pits villains or, excuse me, heroes against each other. And you may remember him from the Justice League cartoon as well. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, also shown in promo art images, but not again, I, I emphasize no heads have been shown or costumes. They're promoting three different Justice Society of America uh, figures for the heroes of Wildcat, Hourman, and Sandman. I like the Sandman figure. Yeah, I do too. I, I, I'm really looking forward to all three of these. And something tells me that if these sell well we're going to get uh the rest of the jsa whether it be alan scott green lantern or certainly uh the original flash the golden age flash so i'm i'm looking forward to that I, i'm really hoping that that, that that they go deep with the jsa line like they have with the justice league line and i'm hoping that we get to see a lot more of these this is going to be great. I'm really looking forward to that. And the other uh, announcement from FTC that I need to talk about is they have already produced a Mego-like 8-inch Wonder Woman from the Super Friends cartoon, but it had real hair or doll hair, whatever you want to call it. And a lot of people at the time wanted it to have sculpt hair. The actual rubber head with no actual doll hair. Well, now one now FPC is going to be producing a second alternative version Wonder Woman from the Super Friends cartoon series, and it is going to have an all rubber head, no hair, and I think that's going to make a lot of people happy. So I'm looking forward to that as well, because it it would fall right in line with the other figures they've done, including uh, Jan and Zena. Uh, 
Zan and Jaina, rather, I'm sorry. Uh, Jaina had a all rubber head. There was no doll hair. So it's going to fall in line with that. So aesthetically, it will fit in with the rest of those figures for the Super Friends, which will be good. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So moving on, um, the best news I can share with you and the viewers. Bryce has become is, a six inch collector. Well, I'm sorry. That's not what we're going to talk about today, Nate. No, sorry, Nir. Uh, no, uh, what we, what I'm, what I'm going to talk about is something that was revealed late, uh, just after Toy Fair ended, and we, and I haven't had a chance to talk about it. Well, Migo is returning to greatness with the Migo superheroes that we've been clamoring for that FTC has been producing. FTC has been doing DC Comics heroes. Well, now Mego is doing the Justice League cartoon universe of superheroes, which if you look at the, at the prototype pictures that, that, uh, that we have here, you've got Superman. These are all new head sculpts. Superman, Flash, John Stewart, Green Lantern, Black Canary, Wonder Woman, Harlequin, and yeah, a new Harley Quinn too. Oh yeah. Well, now, now the now the new Harley. Yes, it's a newer version of a Harley Quinn. And then That's you've also got, and then you've also got black suit, eighties era Batman. Um. So you've got a total of what is that? Six or seven? No, one, two, three, four, five, seven well, different figures that Nico is bringing out sometime soon. Is the Harley figure in the shots that you sent? Harley yeah, well, so she's, she's kind of there. So if you pick up a, on the one that shows Batman kind of encased in a clear plastic behind him, oh, I see. Is, you, can see, you can see Black Canary and the picture of that Harley Quinn. That's like a recent edition oh, okay, Harley Quinn. It's, it's hidden back there. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, now, now here's the thing with the Harley Quinn figure. Uh, that's, that's strictly two-dimensional art you're looking at. That is, not a, that is not a figure. That is not a prototype. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we assumed. Yeah. So uh, the images, the images were um, were these pictures were taken against Migo's wishes at Toy Fair. Really? Uh, they were, yeah, they were not supposed to be published, but a lot of uh, companies say the same thing at Toy Fair. Jazzwares is exactly the same, and so is McFarland. Yeah. Well, Migo has since uh, tweeted out one of those pictures, so I thought it was fair to show it to the viewers now. So uh, I've I've included a couple of other images. Uh, that I saw on social media, but what you're seeing here is essentially uh, we're going to have an expanding Hall of Justice and League Satellite Headquarters with all these heroes. I I'm excited that Migo was back into the 8-inch um, DC Comics Heroes line. They are forthcoming. We, we don't know when. We don't know the point. But what's exciting is that this, is this was Migo in its heyday. They, they've been doing 14 inch, as you know, I've, I've shown you 14 inch DC heroes that they've been producing. But these are the first time they're getting back into the eight inch game with DC. So it's very exciting. These, these prototypes look excellent. They've been a year in the making and uh, they're still pending uh, some sort of licensing approval or they're in some sort of stage of production. We're not sure yet, but obviously what's going on uh, around the world is slowing production, but we should see yep. DC 8-inch heroes in these window boxes, by the way, which are which look great. I love the design of these window boxes. We should be seeing them this year. Cool. Yeah, I got to say, these look pretty good. I had to break out my tablet so I can, like, see in, in, in better quality, well, bigger pictures, so. Yeah, I've been kind of going back and forth between my phone and the second monitor here. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling you, if you pick... If you take a good look at that flash, that flash looks good. I love the John Stewart head too. Yes, me too. Me too. And and keep in mind the pictures that you're seeing are prototypes. So if the heads look a little bit big, remember there's always shrinkage in manufacturing. These are strictly prototypes. That's what she said. Anyway, sorry. Sorry. Yes. Yes. So count me in for super excited for this line of figures I, I can't wait i really can't this is the best news i've i've heard out of toy fair uh this is uh i mean there was a lot of good news don't get me wrong but this is great I, you, 
you have to take everything Bryce says with a grain of salt because, I mean, G.I. Joe's, Snake Eyes, I mean. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we all have our jam. <laughs> if there's one thing I'll never get tired of. It's just me and you calmly poking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, I was excited for that Snake Eyes for you guys because I thought it looked great. But but these, but these, this retro cloth, I mean, this is, this is where Amigo made millions of dollars. And made millions of kids happy oh, yeah. with these figures. Oh, I'm so, completely aware. We'll, we'll let you know what here. We'll let you play with Snake Eyes, Jason. Quickly, put yours inside of a package and ship it to Bryce real quick. Let him play with it for like a day. <laughs> no, that doesn't happen. We don't do that. We don't do that. Anyway. Yeah, you you want to do social distancing? Hey, I mean, you hey, know, if if our we should all has anything to say, we might be not social distancing. I don't know. Anyway, hey, that's Jason, a political gonna, thing. I'm not going to get into that. Hey Jason, I'll save you. A trip. Social distance. Hey Jason, I'll save you a trip to the post office since you don't live far away from me. I'll just drive by and you can throw it in my car window. <laughs> These people are losing their mind. Anyway, hey, hey, if you really want to make sure you get it just right, just attach like a bottle rocket to it and just aim okay, appropriately. We're done. We're done. We're done. We ain't doing any of this. Uh, Bryce, if you're done with, uh, you got all your news out. Yes, that is that is all the good news, and it was great news. All right, uh, Nate, go ahead and hit it up because I want to talk about the first well, ones you got in your pictures here. This so is we'll go with some. Uh, we'll start off with something that appeals to me, and that kind of goes to what Bryce was talking about with NECA. Uh, I'm a big fan of Godzilla. I don't know if anyone knows this. I mean, <clears throat> just saying, but he's, I didn't collect a lot of Godzilla figures until just like last year, basically. So I missed out on a lot of them. So not only did we already find out at Toy Fair that we were going to get Tokyo SOS's, uh, you know, Godzilla and BioLancey's Godzilla, but shipping out apparently later this week is if you didn't get it, we're redo they're redoing the packaging and giving you a brand new Godzilla from the 2001 All Out Attack Godzilla, where Ooh. it's the truly only evil Godzilla that they had, and he's apparently supposed to be shipping out later this week. Sorry, not this week, later this month. So you have the nice packaging where you show Godzilla versus like Mothra and King Ghidorah. And then, but they actually do show like, of course, the Godzilla figure itself. And it looks good. I that face sculpt is really, is really good. I love the teeth and everything. So that was the whole thing about this Godzilla is Godzilla itself was, this is the first one that was, the, that was actually, because he was like the spirit of, the fallen from a war. I'm not going to get into too much detail about it, but like this one was actually truly evil. So they meant to make him look evil and I'm saying it looks good. So I like it. I'm excited. I'm going to order this one along with the other ones, which is sad because my Godzilla shelf has six Godzillas on those big shelves that you have. And there is, <laughs> there is no more room. So I'll have to get more. Um, going into other news. Give me a minute. Hey, to roll. Hey. Yeah. Hey, Nathan, I'm just now looking at the picture of Godzilla. Is that 12 inches long? Uh, I think so. Long. Uh, uh, it's pretty much the size. You know that Godzilla I have over here? Yeah. Hold on. They're I, pretty big. I'm, within, I'm in a thin range. Um, so this is the Godzilla from 1954, made by NECA. And, like, it's they're a little bigger than six inches, but they're pretty decently long is the thing. Cool. So, I mean, Godzilla itself, those figures, they're they're nice. I like them. That's why I own them. But, uh, but if we move into some other news, let's go with the My Hero Academia. I collect the McFarlane figures already, so, you know, I love the My Hero Academia stuff. But they recently put up for pre-order the My Hero Academia Kirishima figure, which looks amazing. And I only pre-ordered one of the My Hero Academia Figma figures because I haven't ordered Figmas in a long time. But this one does look really good, and I'm excited for when my Uraraka one shows up. Hey Bryce, I got but, hooked on uh, Amazon Japan. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, but that's the thing is I can't use it on my own. So if I want to order something, I got to go to your house. <laughs> I have to translate. For <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah, the Kirishima figure looks good. It's got a lot of alternate heads here it's got some alternate arm pieces to show off his hardening quirk so it looks really good uh, it's Here's supposed to the, be running six 
Here's the problem that I have with McFarlane figures. This captures the artwork of My Hero Academia so well. Whereas the McFarlane ones, eh, they're close. But they, this is, I, I know you're paying more for a figure, but wow. Oh, yeah. This so looks here, so good. My McFarlane figures cost $20 a piece. This figure, if you order it through the right channels, will cost you $65 a piece. Mm. Or you could always go to Big Bad Toy Store and pay $100 for it. I mean, I got a $20 figure here that looks like Scarlett Johansson. So. I know. Oh, oh, so look, that's the, look. That's... Snake Eyes and Scarlett. So that was the big that was the big thing is I um like I, I really do love Figma, but when I can go and get them for twenty dollars from McFarlane and Fair get enough. something that's close enough. Now that said, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for certain good looking figures, aka the amazing Yamaguchi Azuku Midoriya. <laughs> that bad boy went up for pre order. And while technically I am paying $20 more to get him from uh, not Amazon for Japan, but from Big Bad Toy Store, I am okay with that because it's not a $40 difference. And everything that comes with this Midoriya looks astounding. Like, we, we've talked about them before, this but they've got some nice posed. high... Yeah, like, the poses you can get him in are ridiculous. So I'm looking like, at... I, Everything Go for it. included with this figure. The interchangeable yeah. eyes, faces. You have, what is this? Eight sets so you of have, interchangeable eyes? So what's cool about these eyes is Amazing Yamaguchi likes to do that thing where you can kind of make the eyes look in whatever your direction you want by putting this little tool in. These are sculpted to be looking in the same direction no matter what, which I'm perfectly okay with because I get OCD with that kind of stuff. So I love that we are getting, yeah, it's eight different eyes, an alternate hair piece that comes with the full cowling effect, 12 different lightning effects for when he's in full cowling mode that can hook onto his body. You get four pairs of hands, five, no, three pairs of hands total, uh, which allows for even the new Air Force move that they introduced in season four. You get four, uh, three different onomatopoeias. So you get smash and smash. And then, of course, his babbling effect for when he's basically into murmuring while he's writing into his notebook. And then they give you a notebook and a pencil and there's stuff written in the notebook. Like, this is astounding. And I cannot wait for this one. And I cannot wait for the, what is it? The All Might. That one looks amazing so i'm i'm very excited all right uh so i'm very happy that i got to pre-order that one if we go with more of the expensive route we got our first look at the sh figure arts mandalorian and beskar armor i wanted the other mandalorian figure but then they showed this one and i want this one it is sold out i couldn't even get to it so hopefully i'll come across it one day at like maybe dallas vintage toys or Somewhere online yeah, for a luck decent there, price. <laughs> yeah, so like I really like this one. It looks good. It comes with a lot of different effects as well. It comes with his rifle with an effect. It comes with a flamethrower effect. <coughs> it comes with the whispering, with like the little missiles that pop out of his arm effect. Thank you. Comes with the jet pack as well. Like, oh. And then, of course, you can get, I, I can't tell if they're separate or together. I'm pretty sure they're separate. There's also the SH figure art, the child, or the asset, or Baby Yoda. I don't know if you can still hear me, can you? I can hear you. Yeah, yeah the child. Okay, sorry. The headphones are uh, starting to want to act up and die soon. But, yeah, the child looks good. He comes with a little bowl of soup. He comes with <laughs> a bunch of little cute accessories. Um, he also comes with his little flowing crib. So he looks really good next to it. There was this weird moment where when he went up on, uh, like, to show the promotional pictures, there was a page that you couldn't get to. And if you typed the page in correctly, uh, it showed an extra accessory with a little bag for him to be carried in. And then if you typed in page four for that picture, it showed that there might be a SH Figuarts IG-11 coming out as well. I could see that. So, 
yeah, so I mean, who knows if they'll actually do it. I hope they do. Um, let me get through the rest of these before my headphones decide to die. Uh, we recently had some more looks at some Black Series figures coming out. Uh, of course, we got more fan channel carbonized Boba Fett. We have an, a carbonized Stormtrooper. I did order the Stormtrooper. I have no interest in Boba Fett because I don't like the carbonized effects on things that aren't supposed to be metallic, like actual cloth areas. That was my problem with the, the Mandalorian one as well. It was shiny all over and didn't need to be. Um, but we also got some looks at like Admiral Akbar, which looks really cool. I mean, we've gotten him before technically, um, but I really like this look. I'm really happy to get this one. It looks like we're getting a new Darth Vader, which is just if you missed it, it's the exact same Darth Vader as before, but the only thing that's really changed is the panel that's on his chest that's slightly different. I won't be getting it for a slightly different. Uh, we are, of course, getting our best car, our armor, Mandalorian as well, and I love that one. Yeah, I, I think that, that one looks. I think that one looks a little better too because, and that one, even though it's hidden in the pictures, he also comes with the mudhorn uh, symbol attached to his shoulder. So I'm very excited for that one. And then, of course, we got to look at none other than an Ewok, and I don't remember the Ewok's name. That is Tebow. Yeah, it was weird that they went with that one, but I get it. So it looks good. I'm going to get an Ewok. It's an Ewok. And then, of course, my last bit of news is... Oh, I think we lost him. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh, his gear was not charged. I can... Uh, uh, oh, we're losing him. Okay. Um. So, um... The other one, I guess I'll just I'll, I'll cover for Nate here. But um, yeah. last year, um, I'm here. I'll be back. Okay, he just messaged me. So uh, the other one was, if you missed out on the Marvel Legends Mysterio figure, which was really hard to find, um, I got lucky and found mine out in the wild. But he will be getting a re-release in their Spider-Man classics line with the classic packaging from the marvel uh um toy biz action figures back in the 90s it's a different it's a different paint sculpt you're getting gold instead of the green on the eyes and the gloves and honestly this looks way better so uh and the uh the fishbowl is a little bit more cloudy because the, the the one that i have the fishbowl you can kind of see in there and i don't want to be able to see in there i don't want to see inside the fishbowl because They've got like a weird skull with a snake going through it. And no, I, I don't want to see it. There's a guy in there. I know he's doing special effects. I don't need to see that. Anyway. Yeah, I agree. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't need to see it. You shouldn't have, you shouldn't get to see it. I love the card artwork too. Oh, the card artwork is fantastic. Like we were looking at that Spider-Man uh, way that we knew uh, we're getting the Gwen Stacy and uh, MJ figures that are interchangeable or whatever. And the Spider-Man with all the new articulation. This is a nice, colorful design. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's fantastic. Well, since we're waiting on Nate, I'm going to go ahead and move into uh, my news. So uh, that's not me bashing things, but tour related. Um, tomorrow, there will be a new announcement for a new Transformers Masterpiece uh, figure from the, the movie Masterpiece series. I'm really hoping it's Ratchet, so I'll go ahead and complete that line, and I won't feel obligated to buy any more. Uh, from the movie line, just give me Ratchet, and we're and we're complete. We're good. Please Ratchet, but I have a feeling it's not going to be Ratchet. I have a feeling it's going to be something I don't want, but I'm gonna wait and see. So keep your eyes peeled on my social media to see what my reaction is tomorrow, or whatever they announce. So the other one, uh, and I'm so happy about this, Solo Chigokin. Um, a couple of years ago, they released a. Uh, Japanese Spider-Man, his mecha, the Leopardon. And I had one, sadly, my children were very young at the time and it got broken. And if any of you have that out there, you know I pay a lot of money for a figure to be broken. So, luckily, I still have the vinyl Spider-Man that came with it. You've seen the one that I like that with the metal bracelet on and everything. They're re-releasing just the figure with some new paint skulls, but everything else is there. But instead of the Spider-Man figure, you will get a life-size gauntlet. His summoning panel or whatever that he used 
to control Leopardin and that his suit was in. And I am in for that. A life size what? A life size item that I can Yeah, man. I mean I mean that's that sounds great. I, I would I can't wait to see that. That's something I would be interested in. And it's got all the controls and details on it. This looks so cool. So I get to get my figure back that I missed out that that you know got destroyed, and I'm getting an addition, but I still have the vinyl Spider-Man, so I'm good. I'm totally good. This worked. It's like they knew that I was hurt and needed to uh, be comforted. So thank you, Bandai and Solo Chigokin. So reunited, uh, and it feels so good. That's going to be great. Uh, How much is that, Jason? I can't wait to get this figure, but along with that, they are also doing an SH Figure Arts version of Japanese Spider-Man. And he has the gauntlet on his hand. He has all the um, the spider webs that just look like ropes that are painted white, <laughs> which I'm fine with. Give me cheesy spider rope, you know, whatever. Uh, great amount of accessories. This looks good. He's got all the wrinkles in the suit, too. That just look like that. the cartoon. And the, the gauntlet actually does open up. Um, yeah, this looks good. And while I've gotten out of a lot of SH figure arts, actually, I can't even say that. I got quite a few SH figure arts. I'm totally getting this one. I'm always going to be in for anything they do, Japanese Spider-Man. And uh, yes, thank you. My pre-order is already in. I have to have this. Oh, I'm down for that. I, I want the Japanese Spider-Man. When is that coming out? Uh, this summer. Okay, and Both what's the, the price point on that? Uh, I'd have to get back to you. I think the Solo Chigo can figure though the robot. I think that's running about two twenty, but that's okay. with the gauntlet and everything. But you know, you're you're paying you're paying for quite a bit here. And the uh, Japanese Spider Man is priced at what? Uh, like eighty or no, like okay. seventy or something. Seventy. It's not that much. Mm -hmm. And is that seven or eight inch? Uh, it's kind. It's. A little bit lower than six inch figure arts run a little bit smaller than six inch scale so okay this is strictly one of those for nostalgia and for my collection they're yeah. gonna go on their own shelf so okay uh the other one release was this weird figure it's it's a takara tomi exclusive for malls in japan but is this super megatron figure and at first i saw it and i was like i don't really care about this but then they showed some other pictures of like full on. And I got to admit, there is, there is some appeal to this. I don't know if I'm getting this, but I, um, it's a redeco too of an existing figure that was absolutely crap. But they added so much <laughs> onto it and only kept so. It's one of those, I think I saw a caption online, be careful who you make fun of in high school. They might grow up. And <laughs> that, I got to say, for their second attempt at this, this looks really good. He's got a different face plate, a huge fusion cannon. It's an interesting looking figure. I don't know if I'm going to pick it up yet, but I'm really leaning that way. Um, back to, uh, I think I brought it up at the beginning of the show, um, the SOC Macross figure. And if you liked Robotech back in the day, um, you're going to like these because these are going to be smaller scale, like five inch figures, but they're fully transformable from um, plane to Veritech to Batroid mode. And the first ones are gonna be uh, uh, Rick and um, his brother, uh, his, his jet, I can't think of his name. I'll figure it out later. They look pretty cool. I, I'm on the fence about them, but they look good. I kinda wanna see one up close, but they look super small, but they have a lot of detail. And I like Macross stuff, so give me all the Robotech Macross stuff that I can get. Cool. And uh, last but not least, there was a third-party Transformers company called Make Toys. They produced a lot of a lot of great product. I have a couple of their headmasters. He's back. And yeah, I have, the headphones died, so I had to put them on a quick charger real quick. And uh, I got, but Make Toys just kind of went away. No announcement. They just stopped producing things, and they've been gone for like a year or two. Well, recently they, they put out a message to all their fans. A TF source and said, Hey, we're coming back. Here's some stuff that we're, uh, we're going to be re release. Well, we're going to be re releasing our uh, downbeat figure, which is basically a G1 Jazz. And they announced some new headmasters. So, this was actually a company that I bought quite a few of their things because they're good quality. And uh, 
it was weird when they disappeared off the face of the earth, just gone. And now they're back and we're going to get a re-release of a figure that looks really good. I don't need it. I don't need it. I say that I don't need it, but it looks really good. So anyway, and he's got a mystery sticker. I don't know. It just, um, but we are getting some new designs from that. And, um, yeah, I'm glad make toys is back. I like all the competition out there in the third party marketplace and uh, give me more headmasters. I think there's like, I need uh, two more. They released some designs uh, of the two that I need. So, hey, welcome back, Make Toys. Now bring me toys. It's actually Make Toys, but it's just pronounced differently from uh, Japanese. It's Make and then there's Make. So, you know, we're, we're stupid gaijin, so we say it like that. Anyway, <laughs> that is my news, uh, my toy news for the week. What I will encourage... Hold on. Go on, Before you go in there, we have a Plunderlings update. Where are my toys, Plunderlings? <laughs> so, Plunderlings didn't give me a whole lot of update. They just say that they're sorry that they've been kind of inactive lately. Uh, but because of, you know, what's going on in the world right now, there was a whole lot of stuff happening in China. So, even though we were promised our figures, February, I believe, is when they were supposed to come to us yeah. officially. It is looking like they are going to have a July delivery. So we are still getting our plunderlings, but instead of getting them like two months ago, like we were promised, you, you mean you can't, you can't blame them for what's happening in the world. So I understand completely. I, I, I am we looking forward. There were going to be a lot of delays with, especially manufacturers right now. Exactly. So while I was looking forward to having them sooner than later, we are still getting them. Plunderlings coming out in July. If you are a Kickstarter, of course, you still get all of the updates as well. Or if you're me, you just message them directly and they talk to you because they like us. And with that, uh, Brian Goldner, the CEO of Hasbro, he recently did just announce, hey, our factories are starting back up in China right now. So be patient with us. But I mean, yeah, they're shut down for what, two months? So yeah, it's been a while. Like my job was affected by it as well. Like we. China was just, there's nothing you can do. Let's face it, we're all affected by this, so, but yeah. Oh, yeah. But. Um, that's good news from Hasbro. They're going to be getting some of their stuff uh, going here soon, so maybe a sense of normalcy will be coming back, hopefully. My I biggest concern when it came to, like, the, the stuff from Hasbro was, like I said, the most anticipated figure for me is going to be those new Fox X-Men figures. Um, which is supposed to come out in September, but you know, with factory settings were supposed to happen. I'm hoping they still do. Of course, that's just me blissfully being hopeful. Uh, but you know, it only affects a little bit of those figures. Like I said, we found the Avengers wave already, which wasn't supposed to come out until May, but they were already made and released. Same thing yeah. with the X-Men wave with the Sugar Man build figure. Those are done. So those will probably start hitting retailers soon. That being said, don't go looking for them. No, guys. Just wait. <laughs> I want, believe me, we're about to get a check from the government for Corona, it's Corona money, and I can't go to, immediately to Dallas Vintage Toys and say, <laughs> hook me up, fam. <laughs> All right, man, it's going straight to taxes. I wish I could do that. No, I'm not. No, my, my, my wife's like, no. So, you know, I have to, but I can't sneak out and go do it. I'm under quarantine. Well, I mean, you could, but... I can't do it anyway. And uh, and also, uh, if your retailers that you buy out there are supporting, you know, sales in these difficult times, whether it be, um, you know, online ordering, or even, I think, uh, with DVT and a couple other people, you can go and pick it up, but you can't go in the store. It'll just be like, they'll just, like, hand it outside the door for you. Help out your local retailers, because... Yeah, you know, like, some of those companies, they're still ordering. Pizza places are still going. Like, I ordered pizza, and they did contact delivery. They the contact list. They came to my door. They sat the pizza in front of my door, stood out, and then I opened. They knocked on my door. I opened it, and they were sitting across the hall. And they're like, "There you go, man. All right, cool." And then I just grabbed my pizza off the floor. To get it back and I'm done. It's a different time, and yeah. But if you, you know, got a little bit of extra money that you can spend and help out one of these retailers, I know Bryce. You bought. You you got those brand new sexist figures there and uh but you're supporting <laughs> a local guy around here 
who does a lot of toy who's who's really affected by what's going on in society. Well, of course yeah yeah your toy vendors are very affected so yeah. anything you can do to help them out that's that's fantastic and you know if you know if you know local artists or musicians uh buy their product buy buy their art and buy their music buy their t-shirts and i've been doing that for a couple of artists but yeah Considering I'm saving so much on gas, considering I don't go anywhere. <laughs> gas is a dollar thirty-two. We can't go anywhere. <laughs> Man, my uh, I, I still think I'm going to go to the gas station just to fill up. Just because you we, know, I think it's time. Hold on. We we go tour hunting all the time and burn some gas. <laughs> gas is I, cheap, and we can't go hunt. <laughs> <laughs> you have to laugh. It's so tragic. <laughs> Gas has never been cheaper. It's 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 the best opportunity to use your car. We could hit every Target and Walmart in DFW today, and only have spent fourteen dollars for the for the day's gas or whatever. Anyway, but yeah, it's it's a hard time out there, guys. And uh, I know we're we're trying to continue doing our shows and everything because you know it's a sense of normalcy when things are not normal. So if you're out there, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. But uh, we're going to start closing out the show unless anybody's got new. Oh, wait. No, I do have one last thing. I have been reluctant on this show to bash GameStop as hard as I can. Because I have, well, I had a friend. Before, who, before you do that. Come on. Let me get this out. Well, nope. The opinions said by Jason are of his own. Just Look, so you don't no, end up, you know, taking I, the rest of it in case. You know, just saying. Um, there's a YouTuber out there, Camelot331. Um, I recommend going and uh, looking at some of his videos because he's really got the inside track on what's going on with GameStop. But I have to put it out there. I am less reluctant to buy from companies that do not treat their employees well. And currently, GameStop is not treating its employees well. I understand they were in a rough patch before this but it was of their own doing. But you, when you have uh, employees afraid to come in because they're gonna get sick, they're told to come in, and then lo and behold, one of their coworkers gets sick, and the company is not responsible enough to tell them and inform them and make them work under conditions where they're not social distancing. And they are giving them, this is messed up. They made their own hand sanitizer. Whoa. It is just isopropyl alcohol. My company did that too. We ended up making our own hand sanitizer like for a little while. It's not FDA approved. It is just alcohol, which yeah. it will sanitize, but also kind of damage your skin. I will, I, I'm, I'm going to send a shout out to Camelot331. Please go look at some of his videos. And it really, like, I have been judging a lot of companies during this shutdown. Like, um, who was it? Um, Raising Cane's. The CEO has forgone his, uh, his, his pay to pay his workers. That speaks volumes to me. That makes me want to go get some chicken fingers. But there's other companies that are not treating their employees well. And there will come a point when things go back to normal, a lot of us are going to remember, you did not treat people right, and I will be less reluctant to give you my money. So GameStop, you know, there's a right and a wrong way to do things. When your calls are getting leaked between your corporate people of how you aren't treating your employees, I want that shouted from the rooftops because you need to do better. Anyway, that is that is my rant. I apologize, but look at some of these videos. It is not cool, and they need to respond also. So there. All right, anybody got shout outs for the week? I'll go since I, uh, my shout out's not the same as everybody else's shout out. I would like to give another shout out to Toy Shiz, who being a very popular person on Instagram and likes to show off people get stuff. He is practicing uh, social distancing and he's trying his best to get people to stay inside by not releasing new found stuff. So like when the new Avengers way was found, he didn't post anything about it because he doesn't want people rushing into Walmart, you know, one of the most heavily packed places where you could get six the most to go and find these toys. Like technically I shouldn't have gone looking. I only happened to find them because, you know, groceries, but 
Boy, you know, he's doing a lot. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a lot of uh, collect at home shout outs instead. So let's go hop over to Toy Shiz and see what kind of send them the photos of stuff that you have right now. Let let people see exactly what kind of collection you've got going. All right, uh, mine this week is going to be at action underscore figure underscore nerd on Instagram. He takes some really good photos on there. Um, does a lot of After Effects stuff. I mean, uh, after, um, yeah, just After Effects on his images, a lot of Photoshop. Looks really good. Definitely give him a follow. And, uh, yeah, that is my shout-out for the week. Bryce disappeared. Oh, do you, do you not? I see a You're, flashing B. You see a B. He went to look on his phone for something. That's Sorry, can you see yeah, me now? Yeah, that happens. Yeah, there Sorry, it is. Can you see me gotcha. now? Okay. So my shout out goes to Migo Esque. That's M E G O E S Q U E. Migo Esque, uh, by the definition of his name, uh, obviously features all retro cloth. It's all Migo and it's custom. Migo. Uh, a lot of it is not something you would find on the shelf or on the internet, but it's something that he has had made or made or makes himself. And he has some excellent card art that he also pairs with his Migos. And you can see if you scroll through his feed, it's some fantastic DC and Marvel stuff. It's, it's classic art, and it's classic interpretations of the characters. So I highly recommend you check him out. I like that he includes multiple pictures on his posts. Yes. Yeah, and it's very clean photography. It looks really good. It's All awesome. Right. Cool. Well, that's it for us, guys. Uh, we hope to see you back here, what, two weeks from now? We're going to do our show again. Uh, we'll still be under quarantine conditions, so... I hope we'll have some new acquisitions, but if you want to follow uh, me, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jason the X. Uh, you can follow me at Bryce Culver on Instagram and Facebook. And you can also see me. My toy page is trap door toys on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at the near plasma. All right, guys, that's it for us. We'll see you two weeks from now. And remember, always stop and smell the plastic. Live long and prosper. Like at home, baby.